Ever since the Bismarck Demons dropped their first two games in the WDA, they've caught fire. Winners of six straight, including a drubbing of the Century Patriots. This week, they play the two teams they lost to, looking for a little revenge. Bismarck traveling across the river, taking on Mandan. It's the Braves that come out of the gate hot. Hudson Shelton, a 40-point performance last time these two teams met, looking like he could do it again early. But Bismarck has a guy like that too. Andre Austin getting stronger as the season coming along, drawing the foul, count the basket, and one there. This will be a tight rivalry throughout the years, no matter the record. Riley Bearstail catching fire from beyond the arc. The roof coming off the gym here. Demons looking to avoid the letdown. Weston Scott driving from the top of the arc. The flip off the glass for two. Nicely done by the freshman. Bismarck will find their footing and continue their region win streak 68-65. Same matchup on the girls' side. Two state tournament contenders. Demons only had 38 points as a team on Century on Friday, but in the first eight minutes, they dropped 20 as a team. Paige Brewer from beyond the arc forcing a timeout. Zia Grable playing the point for the Braves, looking to respond, taking a lot of contact, throws up a shot, and somehow it falls. Mandan staying close. Morgan Johnson Colbert the other way, dribbles and dumps it off to Jordan Rood, pulling the trigger and burying it. This game would go down in the wire. It's Bismarck that would win by two. Century back at home, looking to bounce back against Jamestown, picking this one up in the second half. Blue Jays swinging it to Dalton Lamp, lighting up the scoreboard with this mid-range jumper, trying to keep the road team in it. Century, however, on a mission to erase the bad taste of Friday. Isaiah Schaefer, corner three. The Patriots' all-time leading scorer getting it done there. Later, a steal by Kale Schomer. Running the fast break, bounce pass. Drew Keppel finishing it at the other end. Century getting back on track, winning 94-50. Over on the girls' side of things, Patriots versus Blue Jays. Century with a lead just out of the halftime break. Abby Foslin, crossover move, laying it in left hand. That's how you get it done. James Dan looking for a spark. Haley Adelson will dial up a deep ball, and the Blue Jays have life on the road. Still work to go, though. Patriots looking to leave, no doubt. Erica Lee, the offensive board, hitting Ashlyn Buchholz, who hits the mid-range jumper, forcing a timeout. Patriots will get the home sweep, 76-47. And top rate Minot at St. Mary's, starting with the boys' side of things. The Magi sizable lead, running a fast break. Logan Conklin hitting Peyton Shell, Junior burying the three-pointer. Later in the second half, Conklin on the fast break again, going to Shell, taking the contact and finishing the land at the other end. Minot, they're going to stay undefeated, winning 91 to 50. Other game of the doubleheader, Majets leading by double digits. However, the Saints would go on a run to end the first half. Ava Selensky going to Natalie Benning in the three at the top of the arc. Just a 10-point ball game. The Jets looking to keep the Saints at arm's length. How about eighth grader Everett Deschamps? The drive and the stride to get the basket and lay it up for two. Mino compete this, complete the sweep, winning 84-59. Elsewhere, Dickinson hosting Williston. The Dickinson girls with a 73-56 win. On the boys' side, Dickinson leading comfortably in the second half. 